everybody. It's Yogi Nora here, and I'm here with Yoga Body. So the sequence of the day today is daily abs. I get so many questions <laughs> about abs. So I'm gonna show you a few of my private, personal little ab exercises that I use to keep my abs really strong. So when I do my inversions and when I do some stronger poses, and just my everyday life of standing up tall with a good posture. These are things I use for my really good strong abs. So, you need to bring your mat to the wall and you will need a blanket and a block. So, with your mat against the wall, I want your blanket here, probably a little bit in the middle of your mat. You're gonna see where it's gonna need to be once you come down. So I just want my low back elevated a little bit. I want to be holding onto the wall, pressing the wall away. So ideally I have straight arms and I'm pressing this wall away, okay? Lengthen your legs out and hang out for a minute. Notice that you're elongating your abs. So it's pretty difficult to have bad posture in this position because I'm lengthening my legs, pressing against the wall. This is a great feeling, this lengthening. Bring your knees into your chest. Take your legs up. Ha. I'm gonna keep this press on the wall and lower my right leg. Bring it up, lower your left. So notice with the arms, it's reaching all the way from my abs to my armpits to my fingers. So I'm keeping all this great length. Again, this is really great for good posture. Just lowering one leg at a time. I can tap a heel to the earth. You have a nice setup, so my butt is elevated, being nice to my low back. One more on this side, and now I'm gonna start my scissoring. So I scissor, Cross in the middle, scissor. Again, you guys with limp arms, press your arms. It's a whole different thing on your abs if you use your arms on top. So I'm going for stronger, more supple abs. You're gonna have more definition and you're gonna have more strength. I'm still scissoring, scissoring. Y'all feeling this? <laughs> We're just going here, thinking arms, legs, ideally no bend in those knees. Few more, just kind of burn in this baby. Both legs up. Bend your knees, lengthen your legs low, flex your feet, lift up. Bend your knees, Lengthen, lift up. So again, you can feel this completely different with pressing the straight elbows to the wall. Ah. Just gonna keep doing this. <laughs> you feeling it already? Flex to come up, bend the knees. Ideally, this is your exhale. Flex, exhale. Bend the knees, reach out long, long arms, long legs, flex. Two more. Reach out, flex. One more. Bend the knees, reach out, here's your exhale. Stay up, lower the legs, bend the knees, and up. Here's your exhale right now, flex, exhale. Bend the knees. Up. Exhale. So again, I'm using this as a little side practice to strengthen my yoga practice. It's always nice to have a nice tiny waist. <laughs> it's always nice to have a nice posture standing up, no slumping. 
And these exercises are just amazing. They really help with all of this. Two more. Exhale. Bring it in, up, and exhale. Knees in, give yourself a little hug. Rocking on my low back. See, it's so much nicer when you can elevate your low back. Just takes any pressure off your low back and you can really focus on the abs then. Hug your right knee into your chest. Left heel is not touching the mat. Switch. Right heel is not touching the mat. And switch. Keep this right knee into your chest. Raise the left leg. Lower. 10 little pumps with your left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold. Reach your left arm. Left arm against the wall. 10 pumps with your left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left leg up, hold that left knee, right leg extends. Bring the right leg up. Right leg lowers. 10 pumps with your right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, straight right knee, eight, nine, 10. Right arm extends, hold, hold, hold. Press into the wall, right arm, 10 pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Both knees in, hug your knees, both legs up to the sky. Press those both arms back on the wall, lower your legs. If this is cranking on your back this low, you need to raise your legs a little bit. If you can keep your legs low, 10 pumps. One, two, three, abs, abs, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Legs up. So be honest, if that hurts your low back, that's not what we're going for. We're going for strength in the abs. So if you can comfortably come down here, with no back pain, you're fine. If it is back pain, you're up here doing pumps. Everybody pump. One, two, press the wall. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs up. Excellent, you're doing good, you're doing good. Don't quit, because we have one more round. <laughs> with joy and happiness one more round here we go come on press into the wall arms let's go one everybody three four five straight legs seven eight nine ten legs up hug your knees oh my gosh rock side to side on your low back it should feel pretty good ah <sighs> Take both knees all the way over to the right. Open your arms, take a moment. Ah. Press down with your hands. Pick the knees back to center. Both knees over to the left. Ah. Back to center. All right, stay with me now. Feet flat to the earth. Feels really good in my back. I feel stable with this extra height. Hands behind my head. Lift my head, but I'm not gonna tuck. I find sometimes when I tuck my head like this, I'm using my neck, not my stomach. So I'm going to just lift my upper back a little bit up 
and look back to the wall. I'm looking back to the wall. So my head is actually resting in my hands. So I'm not super high off the wall. Right now my muscles are contracting and holding my body up. 10 pumps. One, slow. Two, that's slow. Look back to the wall. Four, five, six, that's slow, don't rush. Seven, looking to the wall. Eight, nine, 10, excellent. Cross your ankles, head on the mat. So now I'm only gonna work my bottom body. My head is done, no movement in the head. Exhale, round, and back. Okay, blanket really helps. A little boost, and back. So what we're trying to avoid is, uh, uh, you're using your muscles to drag your butt up and round. We're doing 10 of those. Drag, use your muscles to drag up and down. That's two. Drag up, knees come closer to the chest and back. Number four, drag up and back. Up, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in and back. These are low abs. Bring it in and back. Here's our last three. Hug it in and back. Hug it in and back. Feels really good on my back. One more. Hug it in and back. Come back to the hug in position. Hug in, up with the head. Keep that curl in the bottom, keep curling the bottom. 10 pumps on the top. One, two, looking back, four, keep curling, five, six, don't let your butt drop, eight, nine, 10. Head down, feet down. Round two. <laughs> Cross your ankles, bring your knees in, use your muscles to curl the bottom body, only the bottom body, curl, curl. Try and keep those knees in. Lift your upper back a few inches off the mat. Look back, 10 pumps. One, two, three, keep the curl, four, five, best you can. Lift up, eight, up, it's a barely tiny movement. 10, we're all going for five bonus, go. One, I know. Two, I'm feeling it. Three, up, four, up, five, release. Ah, take your legs long, stretch out those abs, take your arms back on the wall, press your arms. Whoo, you should have a whole different thing going on here from when you started. Can really feel it. Just kind of pressing in. Take your stretch. Bring those feet flat. Situate your butt so your butt feels good on the blanket. Lift your legs, open up in a straddle. Reach your arms through the center point and lift, and lower, lift. So I'm not using my arms to lift, lift. That does nothing. I'm using my slow muscle, so my muscle lifts and lowers. It's not really moving my arms or legs. Lift, it's all my abs, lifting and lowering. We're on number five, and lower. Number six, and lower. Keep the legs straight. Seven, I know some of you are cranking in the legs right now. Eight, extension legs. 
nine, one more, 10 whole 10 quick pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Lower hands to your knees, bend those knees, bring your knees in and rock side to side. <laughs> Hands flat, both knees to one side like we did before. So I hope you're getting the idea that when you work your abs, you don't work your neck and you don't work your low back. If you move with slower motion, usually it's deeper in the muscle and you sustain this ab, this ab strength. And actually you're making your abs flexible by rounding, opening, rounding, opening, we're getting flexibility and strength together. Bring your knees to the other side. Ha. <laughs> Stay on this side. Move your whole body to this side. Press down to come up. And come sit on your blanket. Should feel pretty good. I feel like I'm like in a protein powder commercial. <laughs> Woo! Stretch. When you feel that stretch when you're sitting down, we're coming back to good posture. Good posture. So this is me sitting here. I'm not sitting here. Sitting, it's lengthening. Because all of that arm work, take your arms up for a minute. This is like you being on the wall. Take your arms down, you don't collapse here. One more time, it's silly, but try it. Take your arms up, no need to collapse here, and take your arms down. You want to stay tall here. You want to stay held up here all the time. Nothing in my shoulders or my neck. I'm working for good posture, good strength, good health. So hopefully my daily abs is something that you guys can practice. And it's going to strengthen your whole yoga practice. It's going to give you confidence walking tall in your life. <laughs>